There is something coming to Canberra next week called the Lit Quiz. Yeah. For kids just like Sammy was, our newsreader, um, when she was a little queer, uh, a little little <laughs> little quizzy kid. <laughs> queer kid was me. Sorry. <laughs> a little quizzy kid um, who loved studying. She loved homework. Yeah. And she loves exams. Yeah. And we thought, what better time? To put her to the test. Yep. We've got actual example questions yep. from the actual lit quiz. Yeah, so if you are getting involved in the lit quiz next week, these are not going to help you. They're not giving anything away. Um, but maybe you can practice in the car. Maybe you can battle mum and dad this morning. Yes. Summer day, are you ready for the first on air lit quiz? You little quizzy kid. <laughs> Wow, I'm so bloody excited. Okay, this is how it works. Seven questions in the first round. Um, and then we've got the uh, bigger round. So there's only three questions, but the, the questions are a little bit more dense. So you've got mm-hmm. two minutes for that. Okay. Now, you get a point for each que- correct question. Is that right, Sean? Correct. If you get any wrong in the second round, you minus any of the points that you gained in the first round. Okay? Okay. So hopefully you're in the car and maybe you're battling yourself. Or maybe you're battling someone else in the car mm. uh, and hopefully you're the winner. Mm. And that's all Sammy wants. She wants to be the best. How, like, is your mum definitely listening right now to gauge listening. how much she loves you? Yep. Okay. Right. I'm sorry, mum. Um, if you get one <laughs> correct, you will hear this. If you get it wrong, you will hear... Okay. Oh, I hate that noise. <laughs> uh, just remember, if you get it wrong... Yeah, correct. Um, I hate you, Neil. The, the one. Oh, the hate <laughs> word. <laughs> Andy. I feel sick. Mate, yeah. she's hated me all week when Sean and I have been giggling about how fun this is going to be. She goes home crying. She's in a Mazda. Um, are you ready? Now, this, you've got one minute. Quartz okay. is going to ask the questions. Yeah, so this is a sample example of a heat round. A sample example. Sample example to see if Sammy would qualify for the national champions where winners from the world uh, from that would compete in the world final. <gasps> Held in Canberra on 10th of July at Canberra Grammar School. Okay, that's are you ready? next week. So are you going to be there? Yeah, sure. All you right. Could, we could be there. I don't know. Now. Courts, when Are you, you going to the... start that at the end of the first question? Yeah. Or... Okay. Yeah, I'll do okay. it at the end of the first question, give her as much time as we possibly can. I don't know if that's the rules, but All right. we'll do it. And here it is, the heat round. Question number one. What is the name of Hagrid's dog? Oh, Fluffy. No. Oh, no. Two. Limpy was a character in two of Morris Gleitzman's books. What type of animal was he? I have no idea. Pass. Which Norse god owned two ravens called Thought and Memory? No idea. <laughs> Four, who has a teddy bear called Pookie? Think about it. I don't know. Five, which Hans Christian Andersen character has been made into a bronze statue in Copenhagen in Denmark? Hans, oh. Just trying to give her a clue. It's, I've got it. You're going to have to move on, guys. Only 10 seconds to go. Six. What did Thing 1 and Thing 2 like to fly inside the house? They're plain. Seven. Who will ruled We're Wonderland? Oh, my God. Oh no. I'm terrible. <laughs> oh, no. Oh that was so bad. Oh no. And my sisters are going to kill me. I should know Hagrid's dog's name. Sammy, you got zero <laughs> points. Oh, my God. In the... <laughs> This is a different kind of a round. Yeah, so second basically round. you're given a bunch of clues yeah. uh, to explain what you're trying, like we're explaining what you're trying to tell us what it is. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, so the quicker that you buzz in, the more points, points you, you will get. get. Each clue takes off a point. So okay. you could get like, set, if there's seven clues, you get seven points yep. if you get it straight away. Yep. Less as we go on. Okay. Are you ready to play? You'll have two minutes overall for the three different rounds in this. Um, and your time will start. By the way, yeah. you will lose one point for an incorrect answer. Um, answer. Yeah. So we, so will, you we could will be go going into negatives. the minus. Okay. Yeah. okay, great. Good okay. to know. Look at her trying to push <laughs> it all down. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. She's crying on the inside. Yeah. Okay, so you can ask her, the, you give her the first clue. All right, you have to this tell us question what you is worth seven points. At this stage. At this stage. <laughs> this animal was considered deceitful. 
In China, it is a symbol of long life, especially when it reached a thousand years. In Europe, they played tricks. In Japan, they are thought to be able to take on human form. In yeah. Africa, yeah, it was seen as a creature of cunning, trickery and intelligence. Numerous Aesop fables involve this creature. Dr. Zeus had a tongue twister about one wearing socks. Socks. What rhymes with socks? Fox. She did it. She got one she point, got one guys. Point. She got one point. one point. This question is worth nine points. This character appreciates fine manners. She is kind and wise, but she is also rather bloodthirsty. Her home allows her to see everything that is going on within the place she lives. The other characters who live nearby look up to her. Although she accepts that death is a natural part of life, when she discovers that her new young friend is in danger, she hatches a plan to save him. Her influence over the others who live nearby is enough to persuade them to help her with her plan. We're down to three points. Her writing ability is pivotal. Maleficent? Next. Oh. This <gasps> question is worth 12 points. This character is rich, jovial, friendly and kind-hearted, but aimless and conceited. The Toad? 12 points! 12 points! Yes! Oh my oh my goodness! God. She's oh. Oh. Thank God! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Woo, the toad, the toad or toady to his friends from The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. Thank so, goodness. Okay, we got a f- one point in the first one but then and then we, we lost, lost a point in the second. And so case, she, goes, she landed on 12. In case what you're wondering for that second one, it was uh, Charlotte. Charlotte from oh, a Charlotte's, Charlotte's Web, Web by E.B. Oh. White. I don't know, I wouldn't have gotten that. But in wow, the end, the you still got 12, 12 wow, points. Straight away on the toad. Her brain was like, do not mess this one up. Oh, my God. We so need in the something. end, you've gone home with some points, Sammy D. Rose. Oh, thank you. 12 points. In fact, you got the hardest question. You got none of the easiest ones. You got, you got the hardest question. Oh. Are you okay? No. no. <laughs>